All right, today we are taking a look at an old train unit. Uh, let's see. They said there's a smell in the house. Oh, gee, I can't imagine why. It doesn't look damp here. So we're going to take these doors off, take a look and see what we can find. Shut it down. Bad thing about this area is it's about a zillion mosquitoes. Actually, you know what? I want to look there at this door. If I remember correctly, this is where the coil is at. In this train, it looks like there's plenty of disgusting stuff down here. Well, we see the first thing. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me get my line. Okay. Probably has some water in the return duct. Uh, we got a flooded area up here. Okay, here's our unit for today. It's a train, I think, XL1200 heat pump. Uh, I believe it was manufactured, yeah, there we are, 1999, so we're coming up on 13 years old here. So the problem was there was a smell in the house. I've already done some work here since my camera was dead. You can see dirt. Dirt on the blower. Scummy, nasty, awful stuff. Down here, it was entirely flooded. The drain pan right here was full of this sort of goo that's right here. The whole drain pan, it was backed up and the entire unit was flooded. In fact, when I took this door off, water rushed over the side and went down there. The coil was dirty. I've kind of scraped it off a little bit, but I'm going to use coil cleaner here in a minute. As you see, water has been flowing down. This is the downshot package unit into the supply. Plume. There's a little bit down there. I don't know if I'll be able to reach it. I'm going to try to drain it out from below. So there's this side. We kind of go to every side of the unit. We have the low voltage connections here. It was completely flooded. Uh, I anticipated this in the past. I've seen this happen before, so I took the lead voltage and strapped them up, and luckily I did because it would have shorted out. Uh, the contact has been replaced by yours truly, so it has the blower relay. Uh, everything else I think is original. Uh, there's the heater compartment. Everything had water in it all over through here. Coil's dirty. Drain was plugged up. Come around this side, it's a condenser coil. Uh, we can take a look down through here since it's down shot. There's our heater elements from the back side. You can see those really well. And then down in here, you can sort of see the return duct, or the supply duct, sorry. And there's all that. So at least we have a lot of access to it. Some more water back there we have to vacuum up. And we'll get down to that right now. Here we are. My trusty tarp for these very occasions here. May or may not be. Unfortunately, that is busted. We're going to have to replace that return duct there. It is not in good condition, unfortunately. Just keep it back up in place for a little bit. The electrical compartments on these particular units, if you have to, if anyone has to ever go uh, service them, 
are pretty bad for shorting out and stuff because this the proximity of these connections to the base it's, it's so close that a lot of times you'll have shorts that'll pop this fuse you have damage to this relay here which I've replaced twice in this unit due to uh, saying lightning strikes but uh, this this particular relay is pretty sensitive <sighs> replace the contactor I don't remember when I did that I know it's been a few years uh, that's about it. The defrost board has stayed alive the whole time. Of course, it's two foot above sea level here. So, there's our heater. Never had a problem with it. Until I just broke it just now. Alright, the alarm is set on the inside. So, I don't really want to go inside since the alarm's on. Because, to me, that's inviting some sort of problem to happen. And me had to explain things I don't feel like having to explain. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just call for cooling. My own special way. Ain't hot. Ain't there. Need you, and we need you. And why we need these guys is we have basically our wire. Yellow here is our contactor wire. If you see, you have common on one side of the contactor, and yellow on the other side. That pulls in our magnetic coil, or energizes our magnetic coil and pulls in our relay. So that's why we want that. And we do, actually we can leave you guys on there. We want our green wire here, which is our fan, because we need our fan. And we need our orange, because that will energize our reversing valve. And we need that for cooling, because we're gonna use the cooling cycle to wash off our coil. All right, so we got all these wires here. Now what are we gonna do? I'm going to wire them all together to the reds because red is our 24 volts of power. We want to do the job of the thermostat and put a call in for all of these. You want 24 volts to the contactor for the compressor and outdoor fan. You want 24 volts to the reversing valve to put it in cooling. You want 24 volts to the fan so the fan will run. Of crap here. Let's see if we can keep it in there. Doesn't have to be for a long time. Yeah, just for a minute we need those together. Keep all these wires out of the way. Just in case there was a call for one of those. Okay, we'll go ahead and douse the coil with coil cleaner. Vacuum it off, douse it again, and start up the unit. I've used this one a lot in these sort of instances. Uh, evaporators, when I clean them in place, I typically use something like this. It seems to do a pretty good job. There's some of them that don't do as good of a job, but I like this one. Alright, just to review, here's some of the components in the heat pump. Defrost control board, start capacitor, potential relay for the start capacitor once the compressor is up and running. Takes the start capacitor out of the circuit. Run capacitor, it's oil filled capacitor, it's designed to stay in the circuit the whole time. Uh, particular motor is running. This one is actually a dual run, this one is a single run. This one is for the outdoor fan and compressor. This one is for the indoor fan. The blower relay it has a fixed delay. Uh, I don't remember what the delay is, but I think it's like a second. A second from coming on and like 60 seconds uh, delay when it breaks. Here's the contactor uh, relay. Starts the, or sends power to the compressor outdoor fan. Uh, low voltage fuse. Transformer. Transformer is 240 or 208 to 24 volts. And that's about it.